Hey everyone, it's Sarah and today this is a video that was requested from a subscriber a long time ago and I'm just finally getting around to filming it. Um, it's one that I've been meaning to do for a while though because I love the idea of this one. So today we're going to be talking about feel-good fragrances. So these are all fragrances that I gravitate towards. I don't know, when I'm just needing like a lift or, or I don't know, I'm just needing some extra comfort. I've got a ton of really cozy fragrances in my collection. In fact, most of the fragrances in my collection bring me some sort of comfort through some kind of a cozy aspect to them. Um, these ones to me though are just extra comforting and I'm going to just jump right in. So the first one that I want to talk about is one from the Sage Lifestyle. This is especially in the summertime when it's like really, really hot out, but I really need some extra, like I just need to feel, I don't know, I'm just looking for a really, like a feel good fragrance. This is usually what I will reach for. This is called Onyx from the Sage Lifestyle. And this is the most beautiful, warm, dreamy coconut scent you could ever smell. It's coconut and I think it's got black amber or some kind of an amber in the base. It's tropical smelling, but it's so warm. It smells like warm suntanned skin or something. It's just super, super cozy and feel good. So yeah, this is one that I reach for a lot in the summertime when I just need a like lift. I need something extra comforting for me. Um, so yeah, that is the Sage Lifestyle. That is, um, and that is Onyx. This is another one, that, especially in the springtime. It's just one of my go-to like feel good fragrances, especially in the springtime and going on into the warmer weather of summer. This is Dolce & Gabbana Garden and this just has the most beautiful like coconut and almond milk note and sweet florals. This is super unique. It's very, very unique. And it's just a stunner. Like you're just going to feel, I don't know, it's just going to bring a burst of happiness to you when you spray this on. It does for me anyways. I just love it. So anyways, that is Dolce & Gabbana Garden. Such a beautiful one. Not everybody likes that fragrance though. Um, so I wouldn't say it's like safe necessarily, but it is a really beautiful one. And I've got a lot of lavender fragrance. Well, not a lot, but I've definitely got a few lavender fragrances in this bunch here um, because lavender to me is so calming and comforting and just spraying it on or spraying it in the air around you can bring such a mood lift. It's, it's just such a feel good um, fragrance. And Bohemian Bluebells from Zara is definitely one of my one of my go-to like feel good fragrances. I will wear this one to bed a lot. I will layer it over the sleepy lotion. I'll even wear it during the day. Sometimes when I just need, when I just want to feel like I've got a warm blanket on all day, but I've got to go out into the world. A lot of times I will put on my lush sleepy lotion, which lasts this, the fragrance of it lasts all day. And then I'll top it with Bohemian bluebells. And it's just like a warm hug all day. It's such a feel good combination. So that is Zara Bohemian Bluebells. Okay, next is one of my go-to ambers. Usually when I am feeling like I want something really, really cozy and again like a warm hug but at night, I will reach for my Lo de Ombre Extreme from Lardison. Um, there's something about this amber that is, it's just a feel-good amber. It's slightly sweet. It's not too rich or heavy but it's still a beautiful traditional smelling amber. It's got a load of vanilla in it. And I just love it. I just love Lo de Ombre Extreme. Um, this is probably my favorite amber fragrance in my collection because it's my most like feel good amber. Anytime I spray this on, I'm just gonna get an instant, I don't know, the just the smell of it gives me like instant comfort. So it's just such a, a feel good fragrance to me. So anyways, that is Lo de Ombre Extreme from Lardison. Next is a musk fragrance. I have been wearing this to death and you guys will see because I've got such a huge dent in it and I'm the only one that uses this. Um, 
Oh my gosh, this is like the the most cozy, comforting white, like clean white musk fragrance ever. That is Lake and Sky 1111. Um, yeah, I have a huge dent in this because I just wear it all the time. Like I probably wear this at least once a week. I could put it in every single what I wore last week video, but I don't. Um, it's just... There's something so incredible about it. It's so warm and so cozy and so clean. It's just the best white musk fragrance I've ever smelled. I just adore it. And I wear it so often because it's it just makes me feel good about myself. It's just a feel-good fragrance. Um, I feel confident when I'm wearing it out in public. I know that I smell good. I know that other people are going to think I smell good, that I'm not offending anybody, that, you know, it, it's just one of those fragrances. So, yeah, I just adore this. It's got such a huge part in my collection. So, anyways, that is Lake and Sky 1111. Next is a Britney Spears fragrance. This is a, this is one that I reach for a lot. When I need like a pick-me-up, when I just need to feel good, I will spray this fragrance on because it works like a charm every time, and that is Private Show from Britney Spears. This can be worn any time of year, too. I always see people talk about this, and I talk about it myself a lot in the cooler months, but I will pull this out in a hot second in the warm weather, too. This is just such a beautiful, sweet, creamy, dreamy fragrance. It's got a hint of coffee in it. It's sweet, it's creamy. It's slightly like gourmand leaning. Um, it's just beautiful. Yeah, with that touch of kind of creamy coffee. It's amazing. I love it so much. I'm so, and this is a tester that somebody sent me, which I will cherish forever. It is, the tester is so much better than the original bottle and I just adore it so much. So yeah, that's one that I will spray it on anytime because it's like, it's like a, an instant feel good fragrance for me. So anyways, that is Britney Spears private show. This next one, I wear this one a lot as a transition fragrance, but I have been known to pull this out in the dead of the summer because it is such a feel good fragrance for me. It's such a, ugh cozy, yummy, I don't know, just such a good fragrance. And that is Tender Romance from Ralph Lauren. Um, yes, this one is so like cozy. It's like a spiced warm pear tart. It's beautiful, but it's got a slight perfuminess to it. It's just amazing. It's an amazing fragrance and it's an instant feel good fragrance. It's one of those that as soon as you spray it on, you're just going to feel good. It lasts forever too. You only have to apply this once and it'll get you through the entire day. This was one of those that I used to wear this one to work a lot. When I used to work, it was, or well, I still work all the time, don't get me wrong. In fact, I probably work more now than I used to when I had my actual nine to five job but this one would get me through the really long rough days away from my family um yeah so it will always have like a place in my heart so anyways that is tender romance from ralph lauren such a feel-good fragrance for me and then another ralph lauren fragrance this is another one that is just an instant pick me up as soon as i spray it on every time especially in the springtime is ralph lauren blue um this is such a beautiful floral. There's some, I don't know, whatever the main note in this is, I think it's honeysuckle, I don't know. And I think I say that every single time, I think it's honeysuckle, but it ends up being something else. But it smells like straight up fresh honeysuckle to me and fresh honeysuckle reminds me of being a child like running around and picking fresh honeysuckle and sucking the sweetness out of it and then smelling them. It just reminds me of that. So this is just like an instant pick-me-up, feel-good fragrance. It makes me feel amazing every time I spray it on. And it's also a beast. This one lasts forever on me. I think I've got an older bottle though. Somebody asked me one time because they said it's been reformulated and it just doesn't last very long anymore. 
Um, mine is a bees, so I feel like I have an older bottle. I do have a I do have a batch code on here, so I will have to check my batch code. And next time I talk about this one, I'll let you guys know. But I'm quite sure it's an older bottle. So, anyways, yeah, that is Ralph Lauren Blue. Such a stunning feel good spring fragrance, spring floral, I should say. Okay, this next one, this is a newer one to my collection and I find myself reaching for this fragrance all the time now, especially at night. This one just brings me a lot of comfort because it's just such a cozy fragrance and that is Levon's Trianon from Lancome. This is Oh my gosh, this is like three or four different kinds of lavender. I think it's three different kinds of lavender. And I think it says like vanilla crystals or something, but basically vanilla. So it's just this beautiful, cozy vanilla and lavender fragrance. I don't know that there's a cozier combination on the planet <laughs> than lavender and vanilla. Just amazing. I do, like I said, I wear it to bed a lot. You don't, it doesn't need to be a bedtime fragrance though, because this is an absolute beast of a fragrance. It will last all day. You only have to apply it once. Um, it's just amazing. I'm so, so grateful I have it in my collection. I get asked a lot if I feel like this smells like Mon Guerlain, and I don't. I think a lot of people compare it to Mon Guerlain, but I don't think it smells like Mon Guerlain. Mon Guerlain is much more complex. It's much more perfumey. It's just, Mon Guerlain has a lot more going on in it. It's not just lavender and vanilla. And this one literally is just lavender and vanilla. It's a whole bunch of different kinds of lavender. So the lavender definitely has, the lavender in this definitely has a unique smell because it's a, it's a blend of different lavenders. But it still really is just lavender and vanilla. So yeah, I wouldn't say it smells like Mon Guerlain. And I also get asked, is it worth $165? I don't know. If, um... You know, if you're a lavender and a vanilla lover like I am, if you're looking for a lavender fragrance that is going to be an absolute monster on you and is going to get you through 10, 12 hours, um, no problem, then absolutely, I think it's worth it. If you're just kind of, you know, lukewarm about lavender or, you know, you're afraid it's going to smell too much like something else, then I wouldn't spend the money on it. But for me, it's just an absolute gem in my collection. So anyways, that is Lavon's Trianon from Lancome. It's stunning. This next one is one of my, it's like probably my number one go-to for being a feel-good fragrance for me. Um, and that is Etat Libre d'Orange like this. I need to buy a bigger bottle of this because I would probably reach for it more if I had a bigger bottle. I do have quite a big dent in mine. Um, but I just have 30 mil, so it's like I would reach for this much more often if I had a bigger bottle. This is one that I will never be without. If I ever hear this being discontinued, I will probably buy five backup bottles. It is one of my most favorite fragrances on the planet. There is something about this that reminds me of my childhood like nothing else. Um... It's got pumpkin and ginger and immortelle flower. I could have sworn at one point that I read it's got carrot seed in it, but I can't find that anywhere anywhere anymore. So I don't know if it does, but I feel like it does. It's just everything that I love in a fragrance. It works better in colder weather than in the heat, but I will wear this any time of year. Um, any time that I feel like I just need, that I'm gonna need comfort all day long, I will wear this fragrance. It's for me, it's just like number one for being a feel good fragrance for me in my life. Um, there's just something so special smelling about it to me. So anyways, that is Etat Libre d'Orange like this, just one of my top five for life. Um, okay, this next one, this is like a perfumey floral, but every time I wear this, I feel amazing all day long. And that is Chloe Love Story. My bottle is a hot mess. It's like my ribbon is kind of dirty. I did buy the second hand, so it's, yeah, it's really, really dirty. I need to clean it up, but I just don't really know the best. I think people told me that toothpaste, like actual toothpaste, is the best way to clean these Chloe bottles. So, yeah. I'm going to at some point. But this is just a beautiful, 
like feel good perfumey floral. It's sweet. It's really, really feminine smelling. It's good for all year, but it's really, really beautiful in the springtime. It's just a gorgeous, sweet floral. And there's just something about Chloe fragrances that just has my heart. I adore them. And this one is no different. It's bright and crisp and sweet and clean and floral. It's like the Ralph Lauren Blue. They're the same kinds of feel-good, sweet, crisp florals. You just feel good when you wear them. So yeah, that is Chloe Love Story. I love Love Story Sensual too, but there's something about the original Love Story that is just... I don't know, it's just beautiful. It's kind of like tender smelling, I don't know. Okay, this next one is like a warm cup of hot chocolate, but not. But it doesn't smell like chocolate, or that wasn't the right way to say that. This next one is like a warm hug all day. It's like being wrapped in a cozy, warm blanket, but you're just walking around all day. Um, that probably sounds weird, but that's what this is like for me. So this is Palo Santo from Carner Barcelona, and this is like warm milk and spices, and it's sweet. So it's like sweet, warm milk, and spices. And to me, there's like nothing more comforting or more feel-good than that. Like warm milk. There's, I don't know. Now, I think that I have heard some people say that this kind of goes sour on their skin, that that milk note does go sour on their skin. So I feel like if this doesn't work for your skin chemistry, it could be really bad. Um, but thankfully, this one works really, really well on my skin chemistry. And it's just this beautiful, like, I don't know, warm, creamy, spiced, very slightly sweet, like warm hug wearing wearing it all day. I just love it. It's beautiful. So it gives me such cozy vibes and it's one of those that it's like as soon as I spray it on, I it brings me a sense of peace. It's just such a feel good fragrance. So anyways, that is Palo Santo from Carner Barcelona. This next one, anytime that I'm like feeling down or I'm feeling like, I don't know, um, that I'm feeling like I just need a little bit of extra something. I go for really, really sweet gourmand fragrances. That's when I go for my sweetest, cakiest smelling lotions, my sweetest, cakiest smelling scents. And this next one is one of the sweetest, cakiest vanillas I've got in my collection. And that is Montal Paris Vanille Absolu. This one really does smell like straight up vanilla cake. Um, if you're looking for a vanilla that is the most gourmand vanilla ever. This is it. It's yeah, it's it's straight up sweet vanilla cake. I love it so much. It's also an absolute beast. You only have to apply this one time and you will smell like it for the rest of the day. Um, it's great for layering. It's just an amazing cakey vanilla. It's yeah, it's the sweetest, cakiest vanilla I've got in my collection. And this is what I reach for. Instead of eating stuff like this, I put it on my body. <laughs> and then, and for me, that's that makes me feel good. So anyways, that is Montalvini Absolu. And then last but not least, this is a fragrance that I wear to bed all the time because it is such a cozy, feel-good fragrance for me. As soon as I spray this on, immediately I, I get a sense of peace. It's Oscar de la Renta Lavender. My daughter is the same way with this. She loves this. When she wants a sense of peace, um, she will ask for this or she will ask for this reminiscence patchouli because it reminds her of my mom. And so these are my daughter's like go-to feel-good fragrances. Um, uh, yeah, and this patchouli, it, this should be in the list too because this is such a beautiful feel-good fragrance as well. This is like a sticky chocolate cake patchouli. That's how a lot of people describe it, and it's spot on. Sticky, sweet, chocolate cake patchouli. 
it's amazing. So yeah, I would say that's my daughter's number one feel good fragrance. And this is probably her number two. We both wear this a lot. We wear it to bed a lot. It's just a beautiful, sweet, milky lavender. It's one of those, it's instant, instant sense of serenity as soon as you spray it on for both of us. It's just, it's so comforting. It almost reminds you of like a new baby. It's amazing. I love it so much. Yeah, we're not gonna end without talking about this one because this one I feel like absolutely deserves a place on this list. This is Burberry Brit Rhythm and this is a powdery lavender as well. Um, this one, this is a sweet, fresh, powdery lavender. This is an incredible fragrance. This one reminds me of a new mother too. There's something about this that reminds me of a new mom, a baby, diaper cream. It's such an incredible fragrance. To me, this is a like a seriously feel-good fragrance as well, just because it's it's so calming and cozy and new smelling. It's just beautiful. It's really, really beautiful. So anyways, that is Burberry Burt Rhythm. I'm glad that I thought about that and didn't end this video without talking about that one because it's a beauty. So anyways, guys, those are, those are a lot of fragrances that I reach for. Um, and throughout different times of the year, I didn't want to leave any out just because it's not the season for them. Um, but yeah, throughout different time, times of the year, I will reach for these fragrances a lot because these are all feel good fragrances for me. They bring me an instant sense of peace as soon as I spray them on. So anyways, guys, I do hope that you all enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.